playwright Thomas Bradshaw isn't one to play it safe, and his new off-Broadway play Burning is no exception. We're at the Acorn Theatre to chat with Bradshaw and his talented cast about this envelope-pushing new play. What is Burning all about, the story or stories of Burning? Well, Burning is um, many different stories, actually, and it's a very complex play. The first is, is the story I'm involved with, which is the early 80s. Jack and Simon, actor and producer, take in a 14-year-old boy and create their own family. And the other story is the story of an African-American painter, uh, present day, who goes to um, Germany for an exhibition and has his uh, work rather misinterpreted by a uh, couple individuals or a single individual. There's so much going on here. There's so much um, incredible humanity, you know, um, within all of the different stories. I read it the first time and I was fascinated, but I was, I felt a little clueless. So I went through it a second time because it was something that like I really hadn't come across before. I just thought it was absolutely fascinating. When it comes to the theater, we have this denial about reality you know we call the our theater realism and it's as far from reality as possible I often refer to my work as hyper realism you know because if that's realism it's like well here's the real thing here's what realism is really about I had to do it you know because I felt that it was um, it pushed boundaries you know in a way and challenged our hypocrisies in a way that I had never read before. There's a there's a serious amount of sex in this show, and that's something that can be distracting sometimes. Like, look over here, there's so much sex, you can't think about anything else. Do you think that leads to any misconceptions about the show? I think we're too hung up on sex in our society. One thing that we tried to do in our in our play was is to try to find the love part of sex. At first, I was a little bit nervous, but as you know, you you see the stories that those sex scenes really tell the story. It's mm -hmm. their, their purpose is storytelling, and to you know, get the audience to really care about these characters. These are really, really bold characters who will basically don't really check any kind of instinct or impulse that they have. Thomas will not tell you what his stories are about as much as you try to pry it out of him. Uh, and so it gives a lot of uh, room and uh, uh, to the director and to the actors to figure it out on our own. I really feel like this play takes the, the sacred and the profane and the serious and the silly and blenderizes it until you really don't have any sense of whether or not those are different things to begin with. We've had audiences where you feel like there's a level of hysteria happening out there and we've had completely silent, very serious audiences out there and both have been really interesting in, in very different ways. People have loved this, like friends I never would have imagined, people I would never have imagined. Most people who've come to see it, you know, I, I ask them what they think and they have to process it. Whatever the conclusion they come to later on, the fact that it gets them to think about stuff as a opposed to just coming to a quick knee-jerk reaction right after the play, I think is really, really important for artists and for writers and for anyone who's in this business is to actually do things that make people think. This is why I go to the theater. This is why I do it. To, to, to sit there and not know where the piece is going and to be constantly surprised. 